New shock waves being felt tonight following the bombshell report into alleged misconduct and abuses across the National Women's Soccer League. And today, the Portland Timbers and Thorns organization fired two of its top executives. We have live team coverage tonight, starting with Fox 12's Anna Katayama. Anna? Pete, the firings come two days after the release of that report, and both men have been with the organization for more than a decade. Timbers President of Soccer Gavin Wilkinson and President of Business Mike Golub have both been relieved of their duties effective today. I was terrified, and I knew, I knew at that point that I had to find a way out, and I was not willing to compromise myself for my career or for this person. Trouble has been brewing for years. Former Thorns player Mana Shim isn't the only player who came forward accusing former Thorns head coach Paul Riley of sexual misconduct and emotional abuse. She says her former coach coerced her into sexual acts. We were troubled by a lot of conduct that we saw here, which is why we thought that it was important to lay it all out in terms of based on the evidence that we were able to find, who knew what, when, and what they did about it and what they didn't do about it. According to the report, the Portland Thorns knew about former coach Paul Riley's abusive behavior, but failed to warn other teams. When Riley left the Thorns for a job with the Western New York Flash, that team is quoted as saying, the only negative reference made during the conversation was a comment from Mr. Wilkinson that Mr. Riley did not mesh well with all of the personalities in the locker room. I just knew that he needed to be held accountable one day and that it would happen one day, but it took years for that to happen. Wilkinson has a long history with the Portland Timbers, serving as a player, assistant coach, manager, and then a front office executive. He was Merritt Paulson's right-hand man in crafting the Timbers and Thorns rosters. Wilkinson also faced scrutiny after a Timbers player, Andy Polo, faced allegations of domestic violence, but the team failed to report the allegation to Major League Soccer for nine months. People in authority and decision-making positions have repeatedly failed to protect us. Mike Golub, also fired today, is described in the report as creating an atmosphere of disrespect and intimidation towards women and working mothers employed at the club over a span of 11 years. Current Thorns player and USA team captain Becky Sauerbrunn believes that there are others in management who should be held responsible. And who are you actually protecting and what values are you upholding? You have failed in your stewardship. And it's my opinion that every owner an executive, a U.S. soccer official who has repeatedly failed the players and failed to protect the players who have hidden behind legalities and have not participated fully in these investigations should be gone. And the question now is whether these two high-profile firings will be enough for players and fans. And, of course, all of this is happening as the soccer season is still very much alive for both teams. The Timbers are still trying to make the playoffs, and the Thorns are hosting a playoff game right here in Portland later this month. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. Pete, for now, back to you. All right, Anna, thank you. Now let's take a look at how fans and sponsors are reacting to today's uh, big front office news. Fox 12's Paulina Aguilar joins us now from Providence Park. Paulina? Yeah, I've been talking to fans all day, and to put it plain and simple, no, it is not enough. These firings are are not enough, and they're asking for the owner, Merritt Paulson, to also be on the chopping block. This is, this is a small step, but it's a good step. Local supporters say they're glad to be finally seeing some kind of consequence. Pleased. I think I was a little bit surprised that it happened so quickly. Um, I'm glad that the pressure saw some results. I think a lot of people are getting what they want, and uh, I... I want the city to be happy and I want the fans to be happy. General Manager Gavin Wilkinson and President of Business Mike Golub have officially been let go from both clubs. Initially it was happiness that, you know, that brief moment of happiness where, you know, they're out, you know, then an almost immediate kind of heartbreak because it took so much. So the year-long investigation, all this pain from these players that had to come out before anything had to be done. And I feel like that's almost cruel. But fans on social media are outraged and calling for more action, saying team owner Merritt Paulson 
didn't do enough to make sure that teams in the league knew about the allegations that were faced former coach Paul Riley. Merritt is still heavily complicit in um, the treatment of these players, um, and we are not going to be satisfied until the sale of the team is complete and he is no longer associated with these clubs. Laurelwood Public House and Brewery, a new sponsor this year, wonder how they will move forward. I think it's still a little early to tell until we see what happens with Paulson, and I would like to see commitment towards systemic change. And the Riveters will meet to figure out what their future looks like. It's, it's a tough choice because we do want to be there for these players that are still there and we do want to celebrate them. I did ask the question, what quality qualities they would like to see in new management when they fill those shoes? And they told me they want, they given the choice, they would like a former athlete so that they understand the players and someone who can display great leadership. Reporting from Providence Park, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.